That, ladies and gentlemen, is a flashbang from the mech chasing me. One of the many fun things they can do if you don't successfully follow my guide on how to avoid them. Which, of course, you have seen, right? If not, there will be a link at the end of this video so you can check it out. Welcome to the channel, folks. My name is Blue, and we're going to put mech avoidance into practice because today I'll be showing you where to get some awesome loot. The prison in the C2 zone has an armory where you can get heaps of weapons and police gear. Zooming in on the map, you can see exactly where the prison is. As you can see, there are four mechs that patrol the prison, however we only need to worry about two of them. The first being the one that patrols the north gate where we will be entering. After we enter the gate, we will then follow along the north fence to the, the second tower and then along the smaller of the two separate buildings. At the corner of this building, we will need to keep an eye out for the second mech. We will then make our way across the yard and enter by one of two doors. Once inside, we are relatively safe from mechs, though the second one can occasionally see us through a window. Now, let's get into it, and show you this sick loot. As you can see, I'm wearing my nice snow ghillie suit today. My stealth and camouflage are absolutely horrendous on this character, so I'm trying to take whatever help I can get. So, even a ghillie suit's not going to help me overly if there's another player that's watching out for me. Don't know that a ghillie suit helps against mechs. Just going to head pretty well straight for that gate. I want to try and get a view where I can see the gate without getting too close. There are other ways into the prison. There is a gap in the fence along this side, about there somewhere. There's a mech just inside the fence there that tends to take a bit too close and notice on that side. I haven't found a way to get past him. If you look carefully through the fence there, you can see our mech friend is moving this way on his patrol path. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait well out of his sight. Wait for that mech, he'll come up past the gate. Have a bit of a look around, and then head back up the other side, up that side of the prison again. He's turning around. Right, he's turned that corner, we're going to sprint for the gate. Come from this angle because there does tend to be puppets on this road coming in on occasion. Looks nice and quiet puppet wise so far. Hear that mech just the other side of this fence here. Don't want to set him off if we can help it. Puppets in that building have heard us already. Yep, he's trying to bash his way out. He's going to come and pay us a visit. The other mech patrols just around the corner here. Some of you will note I'm carrying an AK that has a bayonet instead of a suppressor. My intention is to use the bayonet wherever possible against puppets. I am not planning on doing any more shooting than I have to, but this gun does tend to be good against a horde, if we do accidentally trigger a horde. Just want to see where that mech is. That mech will come up very close to this corner. Once that mech has gone, we're going to make a beeline for the door of the long building. So this is the shorter of the buildings, freestanding one. I showed you on the map. 
Echo's gone around the corner. Don't want to make it too easy for any other players around. Also don't want to make it too easy for that mech or puppet to get us. Trying to keep the noise to a minimum. A lot of players are going to want to come in here. The loot's pretty good in here. Want to give it away that we're in here if we can help it. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lockers in here. All of these little loot things here tend to have good stuff in them as well. You can find, and these lockers here, police clothes of all forms, a pair of blue camo pants to match my blue camo jacket. Hoping for a backpack, because these lockers should have some fairly good loot in them. Now this is where you want to make sure advanced or higher with lock picking makes it a lot easier. Wear open finger gloves, or if you haven't got any, take your gloves off. There we go, VSS. And look at that, a SCAR DMR. That's what we like to see. Compound crossbow, pretty much always find one of them in here, at least one. It runs where I've found four or five of them before. AK-47 and a Wasp Reflex. I like the Wasp Reflex, very good little sight that one. Probably my favourite to put on my pistol. Another VSS and a set of night vision. They're always handy. Let's just check those little things here. So if we can't find ourselves another backpack because that would be very handy. 74U. AK-47's okay, baby brother. Another DMR. Oh, can't believe we found three of them. Let's see what we can do about carrying these things out, shall we? Small chance I might find a bag in here somewhere. Let's have a look. But, you know what? It's not good greedy. As you can see, some damn good loot out of it. Three scar DMRs. Now we just want to make sure, heck. He's not going to spot us on our way out. Right and he just spotted me. <laughs> yes, on occasion they will spot you through a wall, which can be annoying. Just wait here for him to go past, go back on his patrol route. So you guys around that corner, that's when we 
need to go. Alright, time to go. A lot of these military crates and stuff through here have good loot in them too. If you can avoid the mix. Hide here away from those puppets. We've just got to wait up here for our mech friend down the end to go back up that way. Back around the corner. Let's get out of here. Nice quick little loot run. A difficult run. Let's see what's one of my favourite little loot runs, that one. More guns than we could carry. Quite often get car 98s or they're called M1s. They're called sniper rifles. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. Not one, not even two, but three Scar DMRs. Couple of VSS VZs. I think we left one behind too, didn't we? MK18, AK74, couple of AKS, including one or two that we left behind. UMP45, there's an MP5 we left behind. Reflex sight, magazines, ammo, a few other bits and pieces. Night vision, they're pretty common drop there. That shows you what you can get, and that was an easy, what, what did it take us, half an hour, if that. So there you have it folks, C2 prison, easiest loot run ever, good loot, easy run. Starter gear you could do that, as you could see, only had to take out a couple of puppets. What do you reckon folks, leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what POI you'd like me to do next, have a look. See what else we've got on the channel. Do me a favour, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks all.